Hello, grade 12. Uh, this is Kumalo M, the Geography Sangoma. Um, so sorry uh, for the technical errors that we had today on our lesson. But now, uh, here is uh, the lesson that I were suppo we were supposed to, to present to you. Today, we are going to look at the subtropical anticyclones, the line thunderstorms, the bear winds as our revision. We know that the trial examination is around the corner. So, you are going to get this lesson on my YouTube channel. Go there, Geography with Kumalo M, and then you view the, the, the video, you download it, you watch it, and it will help you. Now, without a wastage of time, grade 12, let's go into our uh, uh, climate and weather. Now, first of all, we must outline the topic of... On the, uh, on the National Senior Certificate Examination Guideline. So as I said, it is a very, very important tool to use. This is like your geographical Bible. You must have an exam guideline when you are studying. So under the subtropical anticyclones, which are also known as what? As high pressure cells. And um, we also look at the resultant weather over South Africa. Now, those are the things that are indicated there, grade 12, that we have to understand as we go through this topic. So, we know that when we talk about our high pressure cell, the subtropical anticyclones, we talk of the South Atlantic high pressure cell, which is known as the what? The St. Helena. We talk about the South Indian, which is the South, which is also known as the Mauritius High. We also talk about the Kalahari High Pressure Cell, which is also known as what? As the Continental High. So we look at the general characteristics and all these things that are listed here. We look at the traveling disturbances, grade 12, and then uh, we have to ensure that we understand everything that is there. Now, to start off, Let's look at the location of these three high pressure system grade 12. This one is the Kalari high pressure cell that is over the interior. You've learned that in your school. You have definitely learned this. So it's a Kalari high pressure cell. And we know that when we find this Kalari high pressure cell over the interior of South Africa, we know that now it is winter because it's only visible over the interior during winter. And then that's our South Atlantic high pressure cell. That's our South Indian high pressure cell. Now, the other thing that you have to understand with these three pressure cells, grade 12, will be the characteristic of each of the three. One, the South Atlantic high pressure cell, it causes the southwesterly winds to blow towards the land. So now, the southwesterly winds will blow towards the land. So from the ocean towards the land. Why? Because of these South Atlantic high pressure cell. It is also responsible for the dry conditions along the west coast. So the dry conditions along the west coast are caused by what? By the South Atlantic high pressure cell. The Kalahari high pressure cell, which we say is the continental high, it produces clear skies and dry conditions in the interior during winter. So why it becomes dry during winter? It is because of the Kalahari high pressure cell. So I know some of you will be saying, oh, geography Sangoma, why now do we experience rainfall in winter? Now, the reason is, grade 12, that remember in winter, the, these two are positioned where in their northerly position opening a way or the space for the mid latitude cyclone to pass so the mid latitude cyclone will be able to pass through the interior during winter why because the two high pressure cells they are in their northerly position so it will allow the high pressure cell the, the, the low pressure cell known as the mid latitude cyclone to approach and bring rainfall conditions the other thing that i want you to take note grade 12 is the ocean currents the cold penguela the war the war mozambique and the agalahas now grade 12 these pressure cells you know that they are circulating anti-clockwise they are circulating anti-clockwise so these two they are responsible for pushing air from the ocean towards the land as i've said grade 12 so it will push the air towards the interior of south africa so we're not forgetting our inversion layer. Inversion layer, what is very important, grade 12, is to understand now that the position of the inversion layer 
uh, it shifts. It is above the escarpment in summer and below the escarpment in winter. So the inversion layer, we also have to understand what is the inversion layer, the definition of inversion layer that will come as our level one question. So moving on grade 12. Now, what are the resultant weather or the traveling disturbances that uh, occur as a result of those two those two high pressure cells and the Kalahari high pressure cell. But now I want to talk about the lion thunderstorms. Now the lion thunderstorms grade 12, they occur when? In summer. So in summer, they are lion thunderstorms. Why? Because the is a low pressure system that dominates unfortunately i've not placed it there you will see it on the next the next slide so there is a, a low pressure uh, that is dominating just you can see there that is the heat low or the thermal low so there is a heat low that is dominating over the land grade 12 then and now that uh, low pressure now it's over the interior. So now what is going to happen here? As we know, the air moves from high pressure to low pressure. So the low pressure systems are dominating over the land. So that means uh, the air will be moving from the oceans towards the, the, the land. So now this South Atlantic high pressure cell is going to push the cold air because we've got a cold penguela there. So it's going to push the cold air over the interior while the south indian high pressure cell will push the warm air that is coming from the east coast you can see because we have what the warm mozambique current so the two air masses now will be pushed to to what towards the land now through by what by these two high pressure cells so now when these two air masses meet they are going to form what is called the moisture front or the moisture boundary in which this mo moisture boundary the line thunderstorms are going to form now another question that the examiner will ask you is why the line thunderstorms why the line thunderstorms okay on the east coast now the reason because uh, on the east coast is warm and moist now without a wastage of time let's look at the impact now i wanted to outline this impact today because it's very important grade 12 heavy rainfall now when you give your answers in an exam you must explain them give your answers in full sentences unless if you are asked to state name identify but if other questions come you give your answers in full sentences so let's first look at the impact of the lime thunderstorms it will cause heavy rainfall that heavy rainfall causes flooding which lead to loss of veget natural vegetation and habitants so animals with uh, habitants will be destroyed them so heavy rainfall you can see the picture of a heavy rainfall if you don't know the heavy rainfall that's heavy rainfall have you ever seen it before Yes, obviously, we used to play in the rainfall when we were young. So that is a, a the heavy rainfall. That is an example of a heavy rainfall. Then lightning. Lightning can cause fires that destroy natural vegetation and habitats. So lightning. Now, what is lightning, grade 12? There is lightning. Now you know what we are talking about. These are the things that you see in your daily life. These are the things that you you wake up to see each and every morning in, in the evening and during the afternoon. These are climatological processes that are taking place in our daily lives. And then heavy rainfall. We talked about heavy rainfall that it's also going to cause the widespread of soil erosion and the loss of fertile soil. And then we talk of hail. Most of the learners will ask me when I go for the camps and say, Mr. Kumalo, what is hail? Hail is more like ice. That is that ice. Do you see that ice? It comes in round forms, in round forms. Have you ever experienced rainfall that comes with round ice? There is your hail. That is called hail. What does this hail do? grade 12 this hail is going to cause damage to natural vegetation and habitants so you can see the impacts of the lime thunderstorms grade 12 then we move we talk about the south african bear winds now these are the winds that blow down the escarpment and they are also known that they are hot dry winds but now i want you to take this uh, in mind grade 12 that over the interior, there is a Kalahari high pressure cell. There, it's winter. The lion thunderstorms, summer. 
the color the, the, the bell wins winter why do we say it's winter there is a presence of the color i pressure sell them and now the one thing that you must know about the bell wins is that they are going to form ahead of the cold front now let's see what is required for the bear winds to take place it's a high pressure cell which is the color high pressure cell there over the interior and then our coastal low pressure remember how does air move it moves from high pressure to low pressure so our air will be moving from the land towards the ocean which we call them what the offshore winds so now it will blow down the valley the, 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 the escarpment now as this air is descending because the air that is around the high pressure cell it descends so high pressure cells are associated with descending air so the air obviously it will descend there so but now what happens to this air as it descends it becomes heated at a dry at the particular rate oh dry at the particular lapse rate that's a big term but not in geography it simply means that for every 100 meter that this air travels it increases temperature with one degree celsius so as this air decreases the air descends here the temperature increases with one degree celsius for every 100 meter now this air temperature because this air becomes heated 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 and it will eventually cause what is called the field fires you can see there is my fire then now Remember what is needed on the in, over the interior, the high pressure cell, what, uh, and what is happening on the uh, 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 the interior? We have the high pressure cell. The high pressure cell is going to cause the air to descend towards the coastal areas, which will lead into the air becoming heated, heated at the dry at a particular rate, forming the bear winds, which will lead to field fires. Now let's check if we remember what is found over over the interior. The Kalahari high pressure cell over the coast, the coastal low pressure cell. What happens to the air that is over the interior? It becomes heated. How does it become heated? At the dry adiabatic lapse rate. Now, what is this air going to cause? It's going to cause the bear winds. And now, these bear winds they are going to lead to what? To field fires. Simple as that. Now, what is this guy going to do as he's coming over the interior, which is the cold front? He's going to extinguish. He's going to switch off these uh, field fires is going to extinguish these fire field fires uh, as this cold front moves over the the land here is another diagram that can come in an exam grade 12 you can see the color high pressure cell there is my wind going down the escapement as you see as it descends it becomes heated and now this happens in winter now i have some nice pictures for you today nice pictures Look at the lovely pictures that I have. Here are my field fires. You can see grade 12. Here are the field fires. Here are the field fires. We have been asking ourselves, when they talk about field fires, what are they talking about? Here is an example of field fires grade 12. That is what has to be in your mind uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, when they talk about field fires, here are examples of field fires. I hope grade 12 and I hope that you have understood very well today's lesson. But now, before I can go, let's check how are they going to ask this question of Berwins. We may get this type of equation which is known as an infographics there i have a small text i have a synoptic map and i have a graph so that's how the question can come you can get either of these or you can get all of them in one uh, diagram and you'll be asked questions on them so we are going to get more questions go right now go to the previous question paper do uh, questions on bear winds, on, if, in, on temperature inversion, and also on line thunderstorm. I hope you've understood. Go to my YouTube channel, subscribe, like for the videos. Thank you very much. I hope this lesson helps you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is from me, Kumalo M, the Geography Sangoma, signing out. Have a lovely evening.